Hi, today we're going to talk about the back page of your notes. Um, last class we did the product of powers and we did power of powers and we did zero, prop, um, zero power. <clears throat> today we're going to start with the negative powers. So when you have a negative exponent, when for any non-zero number a and any integer n, a to the negative nth power is the reciprocal of a to the nth power. What does that mean? That simply means anytime we have negative exponents, you need to move it and make it positive exponents. So, for example, let's say we are doing a to the negative third power. Think of this way. We cannot have a negative exponent, so we're going to move this one. So think about it. a to the negative third power means a to the negative third power over 1. Therefore, we're going to move it to the denominator and then make the exponent positive. So a to the third power, we made it positive. And then we need 1 so we are making a reciprocal, but if it's confusing to you, just think of this way. When you have negative exponent, we move it to the denominator and make it positive. What if you have a negative exponent on the denominator? Then we're going to move it to the numerator and make it positive. So let's take a look at the next one. 5 to the negative second power. Since it's 5 to the negative second power, we're going to move it to the denominator, make it positive. And as you know, 5 to the second power is 25. Anytime we have a numeric base, we need to simplify. So 1 over 25, 1 25th will be the answer. What if you have a negative exponent in the denominator? We're going to move it to the numerator and make it positive. So the answer will be a to the fifth power over 1. But we don't have to put over 1, so a to the fifth power will be the answer. We good. So next one is division of law of exponents. So we're going to do quotient of powers. To divide two powers that have same base, we are going to subtract the exponents and divide the coefficients. So think of this way a to the fifth power divided by a to the second power. What do I need to do? Let's actually expand it and see. a to the fifth power means a times, a times, a times, a times, a. a to the second power means a times, a. So what can I do? I can cancel a's on the numerator and denominator. Then what do we have left? a to the third power. That's where we get the rule. When we have division of the powers with the same base, we only subtract the exponents, keep the base. Got it? So let's do the next one. b to the 15th power divided by b to the 7th power. We are not dividing the exponents. We subtract the exponents. So 15 minus 7 is 8. So b to the 8th power. That's simple. Next one. So we always take care of the same base first. So a to the fifth power divided by a to the first power. So we're going to subtract 5 and 1. It's going to be a to the fourth power. And b to the, what do we do with 8 and 3? We subtract. So 8 minus 3 is 5. Got it? Let's take a look at the next one. So, 6 and then 4, those are the coefficients. So, what do we do with the coefficient? We divide the coefficient. When you do 6 divided by 4, it's going to be fractions. So, make sure you simplify the fraction. It's going to be 6 divided by 4, which is, we can simplify to 3 over 2. Correct? Now, a to the 7th divided by a to the 4th. We subtract the exponent, so it's going to be a to the 3rd power. b to the third minus b to the sixth. What's that going to be? b to the negative third power. There's no c on the denominator, so just leave it like that. 
Now, as I told you, we cannot have a negative exponent. So what we're going to do, we're going to move the negative exponent to the denominator. So it's going to be 3 over 2. Make sure you extend it. a to the third power, since it's positive, we just leave it there. b to the negative third power, we need to move it to the denominator, make it positive. Okay, and c is just c, so just put c over. Then we're done. So we're going to do more practice of these in class. So make sure you remember the rule. We can never have negative exponents as our final answer. Let's take a look at the next one. Power of quotients. So to find the power of quotients, find the power of numerator and find the power of denominator. So it's like uh, you are distributing 5 to the numerator and 5 to the denominator. Since we are not multiplying 5 and C, we are just distributing the power. So it's going to be c to the fifth power over d to the fifth power. Okay? How about the next one? We're going to distribute power of 4 to every single base. So first base is 2. So 2 to the fourth power. What do we do with the exponents? When you have power to power, we multiply powers. 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 to the 4th power. Correct? Now, we're going to simplify the numeric base. 2 to the 4th power is what? 2 to the 4th power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. p to the 8th power. And we can simplify 3 to the 4th power. That means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 to the 4th power is not 12. Remember, 3 to the 4th power means we multiply 3 4 times, which is... 81. Can I simplify that? So, oh, 81. 81. That's it. So, 16p to the fifth power over 81. That is the answer. Let's move on to the next one. So, we always start from power to a power. So we need to distribute 3 to 2, 3 to negative 1, 3 to 3, 3 to 9. So simplify that. So it's going to be z to the, we multiply the exponents, z to the 6th power, w to the negative 3rd power, over 3 times 3, z to the ninth power, w to the 29th power. Now, since we took care of power to power, next we need to do, what do you see? You still have the same base, so you need to divide powers. When we divide powers, what do we do with exponents again? We subtract, so 6 minus 9 is z to the negative third power. w to the negative third divided by the w to the 29th, so we still subtract. What's negative 3 minus 29? W to the negative 32. As I told you before, we can never have negative exponents. So what do I do? So we need to move it to the denominator. Make sure you move the denominator, z to the third. And then w to the 32nd power. And then what do we need on the numerator? Just put We'll definitely do more practice in class, but make sure, remember the rules, guys. When we have, like, more complicated problems, we always take care of power to a power first. And then we multiply powers. And then we divide powers. And then we take care of negative exponents. So, that's it for today, and I'll see you in class.